Today I'm going to show you how to use Kubernetes secrets. I created a simple Golang app to demonstrate to you how to access it within the application. First, we will mount a secret as a volume to our pod. Second, we will use content of our secret to create environment variable. And in the next video, we will use sealed secrets to encrypt our Kubernetes secrets that we can store them in the Git. Let's get started. All right, let me quickly show you the application that I created to test the secrets. It's a Golang application and it's very simple HTTP server that we're gonna run. And there are two endpoints. The first one is credentials from file. The second one's credential from ENV. And the first one will read the file inside the etc credentials directory and then output it to the client. And the second endpoint will read the environment variable called my password and return it to the client as well. All right, the, the first approach that we're gonna take is to uh, mount it, uh, those secrets as the volume inside that container. All right. Let's uh, first of all create the secret itself. In order to do that, we need to uh, encode our secrets in base64 first. All right, so in order to encode it, we're gonna run the following command. Echo, and then we're gonna specify dash n flag to avoid any new lines at the end of the file. Then we're gonna provide the content of the secret. This is gonna be the secret for the username. And then we're gonna pipe it to the base64 uh, tool that will encode it to base64. All right, so this is not encrypted version, but encoded to base64. And the second um, secret that we're gonna be using is the password. And my password will be secret123, and I'm gonna encode it in base64 as well. All right, so this is the base64 encoding. Now let's go ahead and create the secret using the configuration file. Uh, in order to do that, let's create the secret.yaml file first. Okay, that's the first file. And let me paste the content of that file. So that's gonna be the kind secret. And we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the name credentials. And when you're not gonna specify the namespace, it will use your current namespace. And also those two keys are username and password. Those values coming from here. So this is the username, and this the password is, comes from here. That's the password. All right, let's go ahead and create those uh, Kubernetes secrets. We're gonna run the kubectl apply command to apply it and create the secret. All right, so the secret is created. Now um, let me show you how you can use it within the uh, Kubernetes uh, deployment. So let's go ahead and create the deployment that YAML file. And let me paste the content. So that's gonna be the deployment. And of course you can use your secret in the, any type of objects like a stateful set, maybe daemon set, batch job, etc. In this example, I'm gonna use the deployment and I'm gonna call it test file. I'm gonna use only one single replica to simplify just debugging. And I'm gonna give some labels to the pods app test. And also I'm gonna use this uh, the application that I built it for them for this uh, lesson and I just want to show you that instead not I have not only the application in this file I also created the docker file uh, to create the image and then I uploaded it to the docker hub using the following commands so it's a public image and you can use it as well so you will be able to access this image so in order to uh, create this deployment, I also want to expose the port 9090 since my application listens on this port 9090, right? So I'm gonna be able to uh, use one of those endpoints and get the credentials, right? So, and finally, uh, we're gonna mount it, our secret as the volume. And to do that, we're gonna specify this volumes block. And these block volumes will go on the same level as the containers. 
containers will represent the pod. So one pod can have multiple containers. So this block is common across all the containers within the pod. And I'm gonna give it a name, credentials volume, and uh, you can, as a source for your volume can be um, config map, it can be secret, it can be EBS, it can be EFS. So that's one of the options how you can create the, that uh, volume using the secret content. And I'm gonna specify the secret, secret name, credentials. And this credentials coming from uh, this key, name credentials, all right. And also, uh, since we have uh, one, only one single container within this pod, I'm gonna specify the volume mounts in that pod. So it's gonna be under this name test container. And I'm gonna provide exactly the same name. So it, it's uh, credentials volume. And I'm gonna specify in what folder I want to mount those files. So since I'm gonna use um, the content of the secret, it will, um, it will, use all those keys, username and password as, as the file names. So you're gonna get not only one secret, so it's gonna be etc folder, etc credentials folder, and then you're gonna get two files, uh, username and password. And well, if you don't want to have all the um, keys represented in your directory as a files, optionally, you can uh, filter them by using the following block and it's gonna be items. So for example, if you just want to use only one single uh, password key from here, only this one, you can filter it out by using this block items and provide this key. And in that case, only one single file will be created under etc credentials directory. Okay, so let me delete this because I have, I, I want both files and Okay, let's go ahead and create the, the deployment. And I'm gonna use the, the same command, kubectl apply and provide the file name for that deployment. All right, so it's, it's created. Let me see, kubectl get pods. So I have this pod up and running nine, seven, nine seconds ago. And what we can do, we can check the logs kubectl logs and then we're gonna provide the pod id and this is the pod id okay this is the pod id and we can see that the server started on port 9090 successfully all right uh, what else we can do now we can actually can execute some commands inside that pod to verify that we have those files and in order to do that we can run the following command kubectl exec to execute the command then we need to provide the pod ID, then dash dash, and then we can run arbitrary commands. For example, I want to run ls. ls, and I want to list all the files in, okay, let me just do that. I want to list all the files in etc credentials directory. And I can see that, and I can see that I have two files, password and username. Now I can use, for example, cut command, to uh, cut the, to print out the content of those files. Right, so let me first print out the password and I'm using the cut, right? So let me run the cut and this is the content of that file. So our application can read that file and get the content that's the secret. And of course I can do exactly the same thing for the username. Okay, I can cut the username and I'm gonna get the admin, All right? So it looks fine. And what else I can do? I can port forward the 9090 port to my from the remote Kubernetes to my local host. And I can use the curl to, uh, to access the local host and call some endpoints. All right. And let me see the pod ID again. Get pods. And now I can run the port forward. And here I'm gonna specify the pod ID. So it's gonna be kubectl port forward command and then the pod ID, or you can use the service ID. I don't have the service, so I'm gonna use the pod directly. And then the first one will be used uh, within the container port 99. And the second one is the local port that you're gonna use to bind it. Okay, so I can port forward the traffic. Now let me split horizontally and 
we can use the curl. For example, as you remember, I told you in my application in main.go have two endpoints. The first one, credentials from file, will use this function. And this function will read this etc credentials password and will return to the client. So let me call this function. Let me go back to the terminal. And run curl. Okay, so it's a curl localhost 9090 and credentials from file. And I can access the localhost because I just port forwarded this port, right? So let me call it. Okay, so I was able to get the content of that file. So that means the application can read the secret and can get access to it. All right. The second uh, option that you can use when you mount the secrets is to use the secret as the environment variable. And let's take a look how we can do that. So let's create the second deployment under the same folder. Okay, it's going to be exactly the same deployment. Uh, I'm going to call it test ENV in this case. Same one replica, same labels, same image, same port. But here I'm not going to use the volumes. I'm going to use the another block. In this case, I'm going to use it in directly inside my container, not inside the pod. So it's on the container level. And I'm going to say that the, the name of that environment variable will be my password and this um, environment variable content will come from this value from and uh, that's the secret reference that's the name of the secret coming of course from the secret itself that's the one and then that's the key so i'm gonna use only one single key the the password key from the secret to populate this variable all right so let's go ahead and create this and let's use exactly the same thing kubectl apply and deployment env. All right, so let me keep still get pods. And we have two uh, pods right now. So that's the second one, and that's the one that we just created. All right, so, well, sometimes uh, it's, I want to show useful command that you can use to debug your environment variables. So you can run kubectl exec execute then the pod id and then you can use the print env and this command will output all the environment variables within that container and it's very useful sometimes and this is one of the uh, environment variables is the our uh, secret right so this is uh, that we just declared and this is the content of that uh, secret uh, all right so let's also, since we have two endpoints, let me show you that the, our application can, our Go link application can access it. Let me run kube get pods and also do port forward as well. So I'm gonna specify pod. That's the pod, same port, 9090, and let me split it. And here we're gonna call the second endpoint. So that's gonna be this endpoint, the credentials from environment. So that's the one. And it will get the environment variable and will return to the client. Right. Close this. And let me call, uh, call it using the curl. Okay, curl credentials from env. And we're gonna get the secret. So we were able to get from the application the secret and return to the client. All right. So in the next video, uh, we're going to use the sealed secret and, and we're going to be able to not only decode and encode in Base64, but encrypt it and safely store it in the Git, for example. All right. Thank you for watching and please like this video and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.